What is going on? Today we're not working on a Cadillac. We're working on a Lincoln. Uh, we got a lot to do on this car, but we're going to start out with a fuel pump. Actually, a fuel tank. We're dropping the whole thing, putting a new tank, a new sender, new pump, all of it in it. Let's get to it. But, before we do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We tend to work on other stuff other than Cadillacs sometimes. But mostly Cadillacs. Anyways, let's get to it. So chances are, if your fuel pump's bad, your engine probably ran out of fuel. Um, you know, that's how you found out it was bad. But before you get started, push that little valve right there. A little Schrader valve, a little bicycle tire valve. Push that, depressurize the system. That way you don't have fuel spraying all over your face if it does have pressure. So starting the driver's side wheel well, we got the filler neck on the tank. Uh, we're gonna remove that little bolt right there. Right there, that looks aftermarket. That's definitely aftermarket. Uh, there's supposed to be a little clip here that you push in to pull that off. Uh, it looks like it's broken long gone, so that's not gonna be fun. This is on backwards, so that ain't gonna be fun. I got another one up there. We're not gonna worry about that until the tank comes down though. But let's get started pulling this out. Yeah, right, we got those loose, they were 10 millimeter. So we got that fitting off. Uh, the insides are totally gone, so there's probably a good reason why we're smelling fuel. At least one reason. We're gonna wait till we pull the tank loose to be able to pull the filler neck out. It'll give us a little bit more room to get it out of the uh, quarter panel up here. Well, I may have found out why we're smelling fuel. That right there could be a very good reason. That is not even bolted in. Yep, don't want to fill this thing up over half a tank. Yeah, I've seen somebody had a rector set as a kid, because those are the gas tank straps. Alright, so for starters, uh, well, first of all, this would normally be bolted to the tank, but I guess that's one less step we have to do. Anyways, we're going to uh, use our quick fuel line disconnect tools, pop these lines off, Slide your tool in, press your line, pull it back. They usually come off pretty good. Then we're going to track down our wire here, unplug that, and move on to the next steps. So now we're in the passenger side wheel well. Uh, there used to be a quick connect there. It's gone. That may have been one of the sealed lines of that. Either way, uh, that's not original. And there's a little quick connect. We're going to try and get that off in one piece. We'll see how it goes. All right, so that one's pretty easy. You just squeeze those two little wings together, and it pulls right out. Spray a little bit of WD on there to kind of help lubricate it, and come off without too big of a problem. That one there is looking like it's going to be a pain. I might see if I can drop it somewhere lower down in the car. Judging by the looks of that fitting, that used to be a hard plastic line also. And whoever did the tank the last time probably broke it. But we got that off. Uh, it wasn't very easy. It was kind of a struggle, but we made it. So moving on to dropping the tank now. So if you can see that nut up there, that's a 15 millimeter. That holds the gas tank strap. We're gonna pull that one down. That one over there, that strap right there, we're gonna very carefully get some tin snips and just hack it apart. All right, so we got the strap itself loose. It's flopping around. I'm gonna pull, there's a pin in here. That's what actually holds us in. I'm gonna grab some Allen wrenches. Normally I'd use like a punch or something. And I'm going to push it from this side, and you can tell which side to push from because it'll be a smaller hole. See, that side's a bigger hole. That's the size of the pin itself, and we're going to push it out on this side. Uh, we get the tank dropped a little bit. We'll start working on this and try to get the filler neck out. These usually just pull straight out. Um, I'm assuming this one's gonna come out easier. I'm thinking it's been out before, but we will see. We got a little bracket in there loose. Definitely gotta do that. Oh yeah. There we go. Wise tip of the future, blue RTV doesn't really sell gas.
Yeah. Somebody decided to tie that in a knot up there. There's a bonus plug. Uh, not hard to think sure where that one went. But if I find out, I'll let you know. It went pretty far away from the tank, so I'm probably... Let them probably assume they come over to like a van valve or some kind of a mission valve. You got a hose missing there, so that's cool too. I mean, why wouldn't you want your car to smell like fuel vapors, right? Got the old tank out. Got the new tank opened up. Looks pretty nice, nice and painted. Comes with new bolts, because that's cool. Mainly because you got one, two, three. Three out of six broke off, and the other three weren't even in there, so. I guess if three broken ones wouldn't hold it, three good ones never would have. So we got our filler neck grommet. I wasn't exactly sure how this comes out. I'm pretty sure it just popped out. But basically what I did, stuck a screwdriver in there very, very carefully. Kind of pried it down. And then I seen that that was actually a gap right there. And stuck my screwdriver in there, got it in, and just basically pulled it out. Just be careful with that. You don't want to rip that. In case you didn't notice, uh, you have to turn this basically from going clock this way, clock it that way, and then it'll pick straight up. It's a little bit of a pain, but it will come up. I just put a screwdriver under there very carefully. There's a rubber seal there, so it'll be very, very gentle. It'll pop right up, pull out. All right, got it in the new tank. Uh, I did spray. There's actually an O-ring on the bottom of this. This isn't a seal here. It's just plastic. I uh, sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on there. Helped kind of slide in there and lubricate a little bit. Started out that way, pushed down on it, twisted it, till it come over to this direction, and now it's fully seated. So I'm about to change over the grommet for this, and change over the grommet for that. All right, we got some new fuel pump, the whole assembly, the pump, sending unit, everything. We're gonna slide that down in there. Like that. This thing sits kind of weird in here. You actually got a, put just a little bit of pressure on it. We lined up with our bolt holes there, so I'm gonna see if I can start getting some of these started. And then I'm gonna learn from the previous installer and just torque the hell out of these things. Set my impact from stun to full kill mode, break them all off. That'll make a good seal. Nah, for real, we'll probably just snug them up hand tight. I'm not exactly sure what the factory torque specs is on this. But Sure, snug is gonna be good enough since it's a rubber seal. I'm gonna get all them put back in and I'll bring you back. Yeah, we got all of our bolts torqued down. I literally just hand tightened them. Put a ratchet, held the ratchet just like that, snugged them up. Pretty confident they're good enough. Uh, we found where our mystery wire went. It went on a sensor back here, we got it plugged up. So we are now ready to put it back in the car. So we got our fuel tank up in place. It went up pretty good, literally just straight up, you know, slowly walked it up to the jack. Everything was good. So now we got it all fit up. We're gonna get our custom exhaust uh, slash gas tank straps. So start screwing screws everywhere. Might even put a screw through the tank. No, I'm just kidding, we're not using that. The owner was gracious enough to get some new ones. Um, I honestly would say I'd prefer to use old ones because they're already contoured. But I have a pretty good feeling about these, so we're going to go ahead and slap them in.
All right, we got our filler neck all back in there. It's all bolted down up there. Got our little emission hose on. I did tell them to order a new piece for that because that is not going to seal. That right there, a little screw that is still loose. I'm taking this tank right back out of the car as soon as I get back down to my shop. So I'm not really too worried about that. But everything else is good and tight. So we're going to pour some gas in it and fire it up. So you may want to cycle the key a few times. Make sure you get fuel pressure up to the motor. And turn it over and see what she does. Look at that. Probably still got some bad fuel in it. Uh, it's been in the line, it's been sitting for a while. But we don't have much in there, so I ain't gonna let it run too long. Add some more, let it get down to the shop. Pull the tank back out once again. Well, there's another job down. Uh, hopefully this will help you out. This will work uh, on 99 through 02. 03 and up, I believe, is pretty well the same. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, basically the same platform. And there's a little bit of differences. Um, I think just the sensors are a little bit different. But should be pretty well the same. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, if it does, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I don't always work on Lincolns. I will be doing a lot on this one. So if you own a Lincoln, you might want to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But until then... Remember, you won't know what you can do until you try, so give it a shot. Get your car running. See you. What's the problem? <laughs>